Folks, we got a big problem. The guy you see on the thumbnail is trying to raise $62 million this time around so that he can push the efforts to get out the vote for evangelicals. That's Ralph Reed. And last time around in 2020, he raised $50 million. And this time around, they're going for $62 million and 5,000 paid staffers and 5,000 volunteers to make sure they go in the swing state areas to latch on to these evangelicals to push them to get out the vote. This is one of the more disgusting things I've seen so far from the evangelicals. Because you talk about wasting money and wasting time. As many of you may have seen this video already, but let's look at this again, where these folks are so crazy and delusional that they want to infiltrate the poll workers and get involved so that they can somehow cause chaos on election night. Let's take a look. I promised you guys an action plan on how to do that. And we spent months calculating and creating, meeting with experts, something that we felt like could take Christians and put them in a place of influence. Just imagine, it's election night. Chaos is happening. The polls are closing. They go and the, the volunteers are getting kicked out. But what if we had Christians across America and swing states like Wisconsin that were actually the ones counting the votes and making sure it was happening? So I want to introduce you to our program called Fight the Fraud, How to Become an Election Worker in Four Easy Steps. Now, this program right here, it takes 15 minutes. And it doesn't matter if you struggle with technology or if you're like absolutely awesome at it. It's super easy to do. And here's the cool thing about it. A lot of people don't realize this, but in Wisconsin, you can get paid to be an election worker. So listen, are you guys ready to make a difference? Are you guys ready to get off the sidelines and make history this November? All right, everybody get your phone ready. I see some are jumping the gun, but look, I've got a QR code for you right here. This is totally free. Everything we do, we're a 501c4 nonprofit. This is a free course. And the cool thing about it is that in 15 minutes, all you do is step one, register to vote. Are you, and if you're not, we help you register. Step two, you select your state. And then after you select your state, we connect you with your local municipality to apply to be an actual election worker. Now, if you're wondering, well, I'm a poll watcher or a volunteer, here's the difference. At election night, what happens is when the polls start to close or chaos unfolds, they're going to kick the volunteers out. You are actually going to be a paid election worker. You're going to be trained by your local municipality. I call this our Trojan horse in. They don't see it coming, but we're going to flood election uh, poll stations across the country with spirit-filled believers. And that's the video of them. These, a lot of these poll workers over the years, I've, I mentioned in the previous videos back, where I used to work, when I worked in the church there, where we opened the doors up for election cycles and things, and a lot of the people are retirees, uh, college students, and people that are trying to learn or extra, uh, earn extra money to perform their duty, to give their duty to their country, or, or, or some of them just to have extra income, but these people have a different motivation. They are somehow trying to infiltrate and get involved in, into the political realm, and basically some of them are being, being, being pushed to break the law because they're, he's talking about chaos on the night. What kind of chaos as we talked about? What are you, chaos are you looking for? You're looking for the trouble because they don't want to accept any kind of results. They didn't accept the results of 2020, and they're already planning not to accept any results if they lose. So evangelicals are being used and being stupid. And here you have this man, Ralph Reed, where they're going to invest over $100 million. $100 million to, for a vote effort. When you've got communities throughout this nation where that money can be used to set up all types of ministries, do all types of work for the Lord instead of going door to door to try to push some evangelical to, uh, uh, to, to convince evangelicals, you got to get out to vote for this particular person. You got to get out to vote and you know who it is. You know who it is. Get out to vote for them and this or that. We got to make sure you get out to vote. And having paid staffers go out to do this when you should be 
going door to door. How about going door to door doing some evangelism for the witness of Jesus Christ? How about that? See, these folks, many of them, they can't do that because they don't have a witness for Christ. They don't have their, their lives don't exemplify no Christ like characteristics whatsoever. And I say, even as you told me to say in 2015 against Hillary Clinton, I now declare against Kamala Harris. Yes. Yes. That according to James 1.11, that her campaign is as grass and that she is even as the flower of the grass. And that the burning, searing, exposing heat of God now causes her campaign and her herself to wither away. To wither away and to become as nothing. That there would be exposure from the, from the radiance of who you are. And it would cause, Lord, her campaign to vanish. There's no fruits of the Spirit demonstrated in many of these folks because they all they do is demonstrate hate. Because you can see it. The hate that they push towards migrants and foreigners and people that don't look like them. People that don't speak like them. People that don't have, have what they have. That, you know, whatever. This is, these folks don't exemplify any type of Christ-like characteristics. So how about they go witness? How much effective would $100 million go throughout many communities and many areas where you can start up ministries to reach these people that you call demons, reach these people that you call witches, we reach these people out here that you are, are ostracizing and pushing to the uh, 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 push into the corners of society and forgetting about. There's so much more that could be used with that type of money. And for anybody to sow a seed into this, you know, I pray you repent. I pray that you get on your hands and knees and repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness because you ought to be ashamed of yourself. If you are giving money to Ralph Reeves and correlations and places like this, to push some type of politician in the forefront so that you can sit back on your lazy tail and not do the work of the men, what Jesus has told us to do, to be fishers of men, to told us to go out and be a witness and spread the gospel, not to set up and focus our time in the political world and push politicians to the forefront so that we can sit back on our lazy butts and don't have to worry about any kind of evangelism. Because that's what it is. It's a cop out. It's a lazy. It's a lazy way. A China, it's a lazy. It, it burns me up because I've never seen so many evangelical people that call themselves Christians so lazy and fearful. Many of you have never gotten out there and tried to do a work for the Lord to reach others. Many of these folks don't know how to witness and do anything because they're rotten. They're rotten to the core. They can't witness to nobody and be an example and be a light and, and, and have something where they can draw people to the Lord. The Lord said, as I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself, to him. He has to be given the glory and lifted up. We don't lift up Mr. Trump. We don't lift up other politicians. We lift the Lord up and give him the glory. That's what we do. And this is shame that you are giving tens of millions of dollars to this buffoon so that he could go around and, and get his, so they can, I'm sure some of it is gonna be in the pockets of many of these people. And then these workers that's going around doing this, what, what, what uh, this phony evangelism is what you wanna call it. That's what I call it. It's, this, this does not, this is a stain on the Christian religion. It's a stain on the church. It's a stain on Christ's name. It's a stain. And that's why 80% of these evangelicals, they did it last time. And, and they're, here they go. They're back at it again. And it might even be worse this time around. It's a shame. Repent. And may the Lord take this Ralph Reed and all of these people that are, that are exploiting people. May the Lord have mercy on them. Because these fights are folks are evil 
and wicked because they have no desire to really go about doing the work of the Lord the way that it should really be done. And that's preaching the word of God and living a life that's an example where the world can say, I want to serve the Jesus that you serve because I see it within your walk. And unfortunately, many of these people's walks are crooked and there's no light shining within them. And on this channel, we're going to continue to shine the light on these frauds and call them out. And like stuff we do talk about issues the church run away from. Take the devil head on, punch him right in between the chops. Evangelism for God's channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.